in this video i am going to explain you about minimization of dfa dfa you already know that is deterministic finite automata the finite automata belongs to which category that is automata having no output okay we are automata without output so how to reduce the number of states in dfa that is dfa minimization okay suppose you are having a dfa and consists of some states suppose six states and you are trying to reduce the number of states from the given dfa okay so in order to perform minimization you can use any one of the two methods the, there are two methods for dfa minimization first one is equivalence method or partitioning method second method or another method that is table filling method or michael nerode theorem okay so we can use any one of the method in this video i am going to explain you about table filling method or michael nerode theorem in order to perform dfa minimization okay so in order to perform dfa minimization by using table filling method or michael nerode theorem we need to follow some steps so by using one example i will explain you how to perform dfa minimization so this is our dfa and i am going to perform dfa minimization using table filling method so in this dfa the state a b c d e f there are six number of states okay so after performing minimization by using table filling method we will see the number of states will be reduced okay so how to perform dfa minimization so in order to perform dfa minimization we need to follow few steps the first step is you should draw a table for all pairs of states suppose p q there are two states p and q we are taking the pair p q okay so we should draw a table for all pairs of states okay so in order to perform this thing you should draw the table first so this is our table so in order to construct a table you should write the state names a, here the state names are a b c d e f okay so i am writing the i wrote the names like this a b c d e f row wise and column wise okay so this is the entry a a state a state a okay this is a b so if i am taking this cell this is a b then what about this cell this is also a b a b and b a both are same okay so this is entry a b this is also entry a b if i am taking this cell this is b c and this is also b c c b okay b c so there will be two entries for each pair okay so we are removing the upper half triangle including the diagonal element why we are removing the diagonal we are taking two different pair two different states p p is one state q is another state if i am taking the diagonal a a b b like that then state a state a okay so no need to consider the diagonal elements okay so we are removing the diagonal and we are removing the upper half triangle in order to remove the multiple entries in the table multiple cells okay so these are the cells after drawing this table what we need to do next we need to mark all pairs where p belongs to final state and q non final state or vice versa okay that means suppose if i am taking a pair p q p should be final state and q should be non final state that is p belongs to f q belongs not belongs to f that is q should not be non final state okay one should be final one should be non final or p should be non final q should be final that means any one of the state should be final and other state should be non final state if both states are final we can't mark in the table if both are non final we cannot mark the only condition to mark is one state should be final state other state should be non final state okay so while taking this cell ab okay a is a state b is also the state okay so how when we can mark the cell a b c here the state a and state b both are non final states if both the states are non final then we can't mark okay one state should be final other state should be non final then only we can mark so we can't mark this cell while taking a c here a is the non final state c is a final state okay so one is non final another is final means we can mark so we can mark ac next is bc okay b is non final state c is the final state so we can mark then ad a is non final d is final so we can mark ad 
then what about db or bd b and d b and d one is non final another is final so we can mark this one then cd c and d both are final states we can't mark okay one should be final another should be non final then only mark so we can't mark this one then a e a is non final e is final so we can mark similarly check and mark so this will be our table after marking all pairs okay so first step is you should draw the table for all pairs of states then you need to mark all pairs where suppose we are taking the pair pq then p should be final and q should be non final or vice versa okay so either p or q should be final state and other state should be non final state then only we can mark the cell pq okay then after marking the cells in the table third step is if there are any unmarked pairs pq unmarked pairs here are ab cd ec ed af and bf okay so if there are any unmarked pairs pq such that the transition of p on x and transition of q on x is marked then we can mark the pair pq in the table okay that means so these are the unmarked pairs in this table let's see we, whether we can mark these unmarked pairs okay so in order to check whether we can mark this pair again in the table you need to find the transition on every input symbol so so i am taking the cell ab okay so i need to find the transition of a and b on input symbol 0 here the input symbols are here are the input symbols here sigma equal to 0 and 1 okay 1 and 0 are the input symbols here okay no other symbols so we need to find the transition on each and every input symbol so we need to find the transition of a on 0 and b on 0 similarly you need to find the transition of a on 1 and b on 1 okay the input symbol should be same the state should be different okay then we will get a pair what is the transition of a on 0 when we are in state a while seeing the input symbol 0 it is going to the state b so a on 0 goes to the state b b on 0 when we are in state b while seeing the input symbol 0 it is moving to the state a okay so we got the pair a b or b a okay so we got this answer now check whether a b is marked in the table where is a b this is a b this is not marked in the table okay so this is unmarked now see the another pair transition of a on 1 and b on 1 a while seeing input symbol 1 it is going to c b while seeing input symbol 1 it is going to d so a on 1 is going to c b on 1 is going to d so we got the pair cd check whether cd is marked in the table this is a cell cd this is also unmarked so after seeing the transition on each input symbol we got the pair which is already unmarked so we can't mark this ab in the table okay so see another pair now we are taking the another pair cd check whether check whether we can mark this pair in my in our table okay so what is c on 0 c while seeing input symbol 0 it is moving to state e so c on 0 is e d on 0 d while seeing 0 it is moving to state e okay so we got the pair e e there is no such pair in the table okay so we can we can't do anything for the pair cd now let's see tr on transition one okay so while seeing the input symbol one from state c it is moving to f then d on one d while seeing input symbol one it is moving to state f so we got the pair ff which is also not in the table okay so we can't do anything for the pair cd now an, another next pair is unmarked pair is CE. Find the transition of C on 0 and E on 0. Then C on 1 and E on 1. What is C on 0? C while seeing input symbol 0 it is moving to E. E while seeing the input symbol 0 it is moving to E. So there is no such pair EE. Then C on 1 and E on 1. 
C while seeing input symbol 1 it is going to F. E while seeing the input symbol 1 it is also going to F. There is no such pair FF in the table. Okay. So let us see next pair DE. D on 0 and E on 0. What is D on 0? D while seeing the input symbol it is moving to E. E while seeing the input symbol also it is moving to E. Okay, so the answer is E E. There is no such pair E E. Then D on 1, E on 1. What is D on 1? D while seeing the input symbol 1, it is going to F. E on that also F. There is no such pair F F. Okay, then take next unmarked pair. It is A F. Now see the transition of A and F on 0 as well as on 1. A on 0 and F on 0. What is A on 0? A, while seeing the input symbol 0, it is moving to state B. F on 0. F, while seeing the input symbol 0, it is moving to the state F. So, we got the pair BF. Check whether BF is marked in the table. BF is this. This is unmarked. Okay. So, this pair is unmarked. Now, let us see the transition on 1. A on 1 and F on 1. What is A on 1? A while seeing input symbol 1 it is going to C. F while seeing the input symbol it is going to F. Okay. So CF. So we got the pair CF. Check whether CF is marked in the table. Yes. CF. This is already marked. So we got a pair which is already marked in the table. So, if we are getting a pair which is already marked in the table, then we can mark the corresponding unmarked cell in the table. So, now we can mark AF in the table. Okay. So, the redraw the table once again. Then you can show that the new pair, new cell we can mark. So, we can mark AF. Okay. Now, this unmarked cell become marked. So, one more pair we need to check whether we can mark or not. That is BF. Bf, b on zero, and f on zero. What is b on zero? B while seeing the input symbol zero, it is moving to state A. F while seeing the input symbol zero, it is moving to state F. So we got the pair AF. Check whether AF is marked in the table. Yes. Recently, we marked the cell A AF. Okay. So, we got the pair which is marked. Okay. Now, we don't want to see the transition on 1 because already we got a pair which is already marked in the table. So, we can mark BF. Okay. So, mark BF in the table. So, new pair, new cells, this that is AF and BF is now marked. Okay. Now, unmarked pairs are AB. C D, C E and D E. Okay. Then take these unmarked pairs and check again, check once again whether we can mark by finding transitions on the input symbols. Okay. If you are getting the same pair, if you are getting the same unmarked pair after finding transition, then just stop this particular step. Okay, so first we need to create the table, remove the upper half triangle, then mark the pairs. When we can mark the cell, one state should be final, other state should be non-final. Okay, after marking the cells, take, take out all the unmarked cells from the table and check whether we can mark these unmarked pairs. Okay, how to see this one? You need to see the transition on each and every input symbol. Okay, so after... Uh, considering all the unmarked pairs and checking whether they can mark or not then repeat the repeat the procedure again okay if still we are getting the same pair of unmarked cells stop this particular step then the last step is combine all the unmarked pairs and make them a single state make them as a single state in the minimized dfa okay so after marking now our unmarked cells are a b uh, CD, CE and DE. Okay. So, take again this particular pair and find the transition on 0 and 1. 
if you are not able to mark this pair okay if this one also if you are not able to mark this one also you are not able to mark this one also you you are not able to mark means just stop the particular step third step okay what is the third step if there are any unmarked pairs then you need to find the transition on each and every input symbol and check whether we can mark or not if we are able to mark then mark that particular cell in the table otherwise leave it okay so after completing the third step you need to take out all the unmarked pairs and combine so these are the unmarked cells now we are combining the cells that is the last step combine all the unmarked pairs and make them as a single state now we are going to combine the cells so first pair is ab so a state a and b are here so we are combining the state ab the next is cd ce de this is cd this is ce and this is de okay so from this picture we can see that these uh, states c d e we can make it as a single state okay there is a c e there is a c d then d e then d c okay so we can combine c d e as a single state we can combine cell uh, state a and b as a single state and remaining state is f okay so how to draw so in this we combine state a b we combine the state c d e and e f then uh, sorry and we make uh, the a state e f alone okay so here from the given d f a state c d e are final state so we can make the combined state c d e as a final state here the state a is initial state a is a initial state so in the combined also a a you can see so make this as a initial state now you can mark the transition a while seeing the input symbol 0 it is going to b a while seeing the input symbol it is going to b a on 0 goes to b b while seeing input symbol 0 it is going to a that also x here b while seeing the input symbol 0 it is going to state a then a while seeing the input symbol 1 it is moving to c c is in this state b also you can see b while seeing input symbol it is going to input symbol 1 it is moving to state d b while seeing the input symbol 1 it is moving to state d d is also here then d while seeing 1 it is moving to f d while seeing 1 it is moving to f c also while seeing 1 it is moving to f e also while seeing 1 it is moving to f so this one completed then c d e while seeing the input symbol 0 d while seeing 0 it is moving to e c while seeing c while seeing 0 it is moving to e c while seeing 0 it is moving to e already state e is here then e while seeing the input symbol 0 it is moving to e e while seeing the input symbol it is moving to e that is also here okay f while seeing 0 or 1 it is moving to the same state itself self loop so 0 comma 1 okay so in the given dfa there are six states so after performing dfa minimization the number of states are reduced to 3 okay so from 6 states the dfa minimized to 3 states that is dfa minimization by using michael neerod theorem okay